So it seems that we are actually going to get an iPad and an Apple Pencil that makes sense after all. Because yes, we have some new renders and leaks for a new iPad mini that looks pretty much like what we exactly want. New leaks tell us when we can expect Samsung's upcoming foldables this fall. And if you're waiting for the iPhone 13, this new information shows that you won't have to wait much longer. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, it's that kind of Friday where you wish that it were already Saturday, but not that much of a Saturday that the Sunday pretty much ends up just ending quickly. This is Parker Now Daily. I know you understood that one. The official news today begin with deals, and yes, we still have a ton of deals thanks to Father's Day. Feel free to skip this with the time codes and also remind Diego that my wish list is still kind of full. Anyway, starting with Samsung and Amazon, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is currently $200 off, leaving it at $1,100. And keep in mind, there might not be a refresh this year, so this is not a bad deal after all. The regular OnePlus 9 is $43 off, leaving the base model for $687. And Sony's Mark III earbuds, which just got a refresh, are $52 off, leaving those at $178. If you're into Galaxy Buds, B&H currently has the Galaxy Buds Plus for $50 off, leaving those at $99. If you're into really expensive over-the-ear headphones, the AirPods Max are currently $50 off, leaving them for $500, and I know, they're still overpriced. Finally, if you're looking for a Microsoft Surface, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 is $150 off, leaving the Intel Core i5 variant for $748. We have more deals on the AirPods Pro, other Microsoft Surface products, Philips Hue lights, bulbs, and more in the description. Now let's move on to Cupertino and the iPhone 13. And I know it's kind of early in the show to mention iPhone 13, but it's sort of a small update anyways. According to a French website that was recovered by 9to5Mac, some new iPhone models were just certified by the EEC. Now it gets interesting in that we have seven different model numbers that I won't try to read, all running iOS 14, which is the regular four devices that are still under development. Sadly, we really have no way of telling which model is which just from the model numbers, but they are definitely some of the new iPhones. The number could be due to the regional variants, but since last year we had, what, four US variants and then different SKUs internationally, it kind of makes you wonder. We're expecting these iPhones in the typical September timeframe with the same four variants we got last year though. When it comes to the pros, we're expecting that these are gonna bring 120 hertz OLED displays with a smaller notch, new camera sensors that include sensor shift stabilization and uh, better lenses, one terabyte of storage, max options, and more. I think this is the earliest we've gotten this many leaks for iPhones, so let's just see what happens in September. Now, let's talk about Sammy for a couple of segments, starting with the Galaxy S21 FE. As uh, we get more proof that it's coming, uh, we have some new benchmarks from Geekbench that reveal the official specifications of the device, or at least the, the particular variant used for the testing. According to these tests, the S21 FE is rocking Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, 8 gigs of RAM, and it's running Android 11. It reaches a single core score of 592 and a multi-core score of 2610, not too shabby, but less than what we got from the regular S21 with those same eight gigs of RAM. Now, a ton of reports claim that we can expect this phone in August with it reportedly entering production next month. We can also expect five different color variants like we saw with the renders from Evan Blass, including green, white, blue, violet, and gray. Finally, for other specifications, we're reportedly getting a 6.4 inch display with a glastic rear panel, and it'll actually Actually be slightly taller than the Galaxy S21, so those thinking it was the same phone just got their answer. That said, I'm struggling to find the differences other than the height and the color variations when compared to the S21, but according to some reports, the price tag will go down somewhere between $625 and $719, which could make it the cheapest Galaxy S21 with the same specs, which actually makes it kind of compelling. Now, moving on from the Galaxy S series, but sticking to Samsung, let's talk about foldables. According to our most trusted source, AKA Samsung, there won't be a Galaxy Note this year. So we're assuming that the fall unpacked will be focused on foldables and probably that S21 FE. 
Well, we now have some new leaks from John Prosser, who just launched his new website, that claim that Samsung is launching the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 on Friday, August 27th. Now, Prosser does mention that these are simply the launch dates, which is when the phones will begin shipping and that he doesn't have any dates yet on the announcement or the date of the Galaxy Unpacked. Just to give you a little bit of a recap, when it comes to the Z Flip, we can expect a new two-tone design with different color variants, a larger outer display, a bigger battery, a different hinge, and an improved UTG that reportedly doesn't have a crease. When it comes to the Z Fold, the UTG technology should be just as good. We're also getting a new selfie under the display, at least on the inside, a triple camera array at the back, and S Pen support. Now, some reports claim that uh, the price tag on these could also go down up to almost $400. So this just sounds like a win-win situation. Hopefully we get some official dates for the event as soon as possible as it is getting interesting. And finally, four, the hottest news today. Let's switch gears to Apple, but continue discussing some of these Prosser leaks. And John, buddy, this is not the time to pull another WWDC. The iPad mini is not necessarily the most popular iPad, but I think it's because Apple has neglected it for years. We've been waiting or wanting a refresh for a little over two years at this point. And during that time, a ton of other rumors just keep coming, like the fact that we should be, or probably getting an iPad mini pro. Well, now we have some new renders that allegedly belong to the sixth generation iPad mini, which are based on cat files and real images of this iPad. This iPad mini follows up on the current iPad Air design with very slim and squared bezels around the display. And the home button is is gone in favor of Touch ID in the power button like the iPad Air. Now, on an interesting twist, these renders also show that the iPad mini is ditching the lightning port for USB-C, which already makes the concept of a pro name sort of possible. Now, part of the argument is that instead of the colorful iPad Air approach, we hear of only three color options being black, silver, and gold interesting that there's a black option, which doesn't really hint to the consumer approach of the air. Now, where things get even more interesting is that we could get a smaller Apple Pencil, like finally, but we don't know if it'll work with other iPads. Now, according to a report from Mark Gurman, we can expect a nine inch display, which is far larger than 7.9, along with Apple's A14 Bionic chip, and which will enable 5G. So think of it, from the color variants to the USB-C port, it could be a pro, but neither German nor Prosser mentioned the word pro in their reports. According to Mark German, we can expect this new iPad mini later this year. So in today's question, let us know. I mean, would you care about an iPad mini pro or would you care if it's just an iPad mini? Because in my case, considering that honestly, iPads are more like uh, companion products than anything, I would say that for that iPad, take my money, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. I'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me uh, debate in the most confusing way how much I like that it's Friday. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.